Hey, what's up guys? Today we have a truck in here from Uribe. Uh, we're just putting their logo on the main part of their uh, trash hauler here. So uh, stay tuned and check it out. Okay, we're all finished with this one here. Uh, install went pretty well, pretty simple to do. We do a lot of these, so this is a lot of repetitive stuff. Our measurements are basically the same. So this one went real easy. So uh, on to the next one. Start over. <laughs> Did you not hit record? Nope. <laughs> this is our color chart. These are all the colored vinyls that we have in stock. Um, sometimes we add some more, so we do have some spaces left, but um, at the moment, these are the colors that we have. We have our premiums, our metallics and standards, ultra metallics, ref reflective, fluorescence, and all our specialty colors. It's really nice because sometimes the screen doesn't show you what the real, real color is because it's illuminated from behind instead of what you actually see from illuminated on top of. So this is nice if you really want to get a good idea. We can send you color samples of colors that you're wanting. Free of charge, we'll just pop, drop them in the mail to you so you can get a good look at them. Nebraska land developer decals to get cut. We have two different sizes that we're doing for their equipment, some small and medium size. So I just ordered a dozen each. Here today to uh, install on this uh, golf cart behind me as uh, our good friends over in Nebraska Golf and Turf. They got a brand new cart in. They want to get some striping that normally comes with this type of cart. So what they did is they asked us if we could duplicate it. Uh, Athena actually did the work. She uh, basically duplicated their design. I mean, it is a simple stripe, but in most of the stuff it is pretty, has to be a certain look to it to make it look right. I mean, these carts are pretty nice. I mean, pretty, pretty neat looking things. So yeah, take a look, see what you think. with the golf cart turned out really nice and slick really clean look uh, one thing that I always remember when you're doing plastic um, you know it's neat when you put these nice stripes on well the bad thing is is that there's any type of messed up bubble wrinkle in the you know in the plastic itself it actually highlights it so 
uh, as you saw me kind of popping some bubbles I mean that's because it's I'm trying to get it as smooth as I can to go around some of those rough edges that it had so uh, but yeah overall nice clean look this morning we have this lime green truck in here that is getting some door lettering put on for RT farms and then we're also going to wrap the center portion of the hood in just a black wrap so stay tuned and check it out